Hi, I'm Tim from Scoop and welcome to our how-to series. Microtech is renowned for its flexible use and competitive price, but some prospective users are put off by its sometimes complex configuration. In this video, we'll show you how to create a Microtech point-to-point -point bridge link and explain our configuration recommendations. As a prerequisite, you will need Microtech routers with a wireless interface and level 3 license. A level 4 license is only required for point-to-multipoint situations. In addition, we recommend Winbox for configuration, which you can get from Microtech's website. For this demonstration, we'll be using a pair of SXT Square 5 AC and LHG 60G as the configuration differs slightly between 5 GHz and 60 GHz links. Open up Winbox to discover directly connected Microtech devices. You can access them by selecting the MAC address and hitting the connect button. Remove any default configuration as this will interfere with the setup. You can either remove this from the prompted window which displays and first log into the router or by going to System, Reset Configuration and make sure to select No Default Configuration before rebooting the device. In a few moments you should be able to access the device once again via Winbox using its MAC address. Next is to create a bridge interface. This is a software interface which is essentially our container for the Ethernet and wireless interfaces. It will allow for traffic to pass through both sides of the link. Once you have created the bridge, we can add physical interfaces by simply selecting them in the ports menu. Next we will be adding an IP address to this bridge interface. Although an IP is not essential for the link to function, we recommend adding one in the same IP subnet for management purposes. For the wireless configuration, start off by enabling the relevant wireless interface which is part of the bridge. Double click on the interface and navigate to the wireless tab to access its settings. Set the mode to bridge. This will accept a single client connection. The opposite side of the link uses station bridge mode. This is the only wireless setting that differs between each end. All other settings will need to be identical. Since we are using 5 GHz 8211 AC products, we'll be setting the band to 5 GHz only AC. Other bands can be selected to match all other chipset requirements if necessary. At this point, we'd recommend adjusting your channel width, frequency and SSID for whatever is suitable for your location. It's also important to change the country setting to match your region to ensure you're working within your country's frequency regulations. When using Microtech for point-to-point -point applications, we recommend using their proprietary NV2 protocol for best link performance. To use this, click on the Advanced Mode tab and change the wireless protocol to NV2. To improve security, we recommend adding a pre-shared key by opening the NV2 menu, enabling the security checkbox and specifying a password of your choice. If you are not using NV2, please note an independent security profile needs to be configured and used for other protocol types. With the AP configuration complete, we need to duplicate this config with the exception of using the same IP address and wireless mode. Remember to use station bridge mode on the client. Once both sides are configured, you should notice the wireless interface would have changed to a running state indicated by a flag in root OS. At this point, if you disconnect from the Winbox session and check your neighbors tab, you should see both devices as they are now part of the same broadcast domain. You'll also be able to access resources from either side of your wireless link. 60 GHz devices have independent wireless settings from the usual. Start your configuration by adding the bridge with just the Ethernet interface as the port. Navigate to the W60G tab to access its configuration. Here you want to set the mode to bridge. Select the frequency, SSID and password of your choice. Select your bridge interface from the put stations in bridge option. This will dynamically add the correct 60 GHz station interface into the bridge. On the client side, Create your bridge and add both Ethernet and wireless interfaces on the ports menu and specify station bridge mode in the W60G tab. As with the 5 GHz example, you should be able to detect both routers in your neighbors tab in Winbox and access resources on either side of the link. As you can see, creating a point-to-point -point wireless link with Microtech is easier than what most people would expect. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you found this how-to video useful, Give it a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the latest video releases. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tim from Scoop.